Hey, it's Bob Harris here from Finger Picking for Beginners. This is your very first guitar lesson. As if you've never played before, as if you've never even picked up a guitar before, you're an absolute beginner. I'm going to show you right now how to do this. So three things that you need to be able to do this lesson. Number one, of course, you need a guitar. So get your guitar out because we're going to be doing this right now together. Number two, you need to be able to tune your guitar. And number three, you need to be able to count to four. So if you've got all those things covered, let's get into the lesson right now, your very first song. So just a quick run through about uh, some terminology here that you need to know. This is the first string right here. It's a little hard to see. It's the thinnest string on the guitar. And this is the second string. Third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. You would think it would be the other way around because this is the big string, but no, they have it labeled one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now the way to hold your right hand is you want to hold it in kind of a claw-looking position, as I call it. Okay, not pinched like this, but you want to be able to have your hand sort of in this kind of uh, uh, position right here, as you can see. And the reason is, is you want to have your fingers down here are going to be ready to play other notes, okay? So first thing we're going to learn without our left hand is we're going to learn the pattern that I'm playing with my right hand to be able to play this song, okay? First part is we're going to be alternating between the fifth string and the fourth string with our thumb. One, two, three, four. Okay, I hope you have your guitar with you. Let's try the, this together. Okay, real slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Okay, now all I'm doing is, if you could see my hand, I'm just, just plucking or hitting the guitar, as I like to call it, hitting the note on the fifth string, and then going and hitting the fourth string, okay? And as evenly as possible in time, okay, because timing's important, we're counting it off evenly. One, two, three. Four, play along with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you want to download the study guide, uh, please do so. That might help a lot of you um, that want to see a visual of how we're doing it. That also has the tablature. And I'll show you how to read tablature as well over there with the study guide. It's free. So just go ahead and download that um, anytime. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a note to this pattern. So we were on the fifth string with our thumb and the fourth string. And we're alternating back and forth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert a note in between that pattern and it's going to be this third string. Kind of hard to see because these strings are thin, but it's the third string. One, two, three, and we're going to be doing it with our index finger, finger number one. Okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just pull up. Okay? We're going to pull up on the note. Okay? That's all we're doing is just pulling the note. So let me show you where this goes. So this is what we're going to learn. One, and it's going to be an AND note, A-N-D, AND note. It's in between the count of four. One, two, AND, three, four. One, two, AND, three, four. Let's do it together. Here we go. One, 
two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four. Okay, to finish off this pattern, we're going to add one more note, and it's going to be with our middle finger on our right hand, of course, and it's going to be on the B string, or the second string. Once again, it's hard to see, so we're counting one, two. We're just going to, same like we did with this finger, we're going to be pulling up. Just pulling up on the note, okay? So we pulled up on this one, and we're going to pull up on this one. Just hitting it with the tips of our fingers. Okay, and I'm going to show you where that's going to go. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, watch it again. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, let's try this together. We're going to go even slower. One, two, and three. Four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one. Two and three and four, even slower. One, two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One, two. Four, one, two, and three, and four. On the left hand, we're only using one fingered chords for this song, so we're going to make it really easy for the left hand. And this is where students have the most difficulty is getting their left hand to work properly, or their fingers. But we're going to make it really easy. We're only going to have to press down on two different strings to play this song, okay? Uh, two frets up on the fourth string. One, two, three, four. Okay, and this is fret. This is the nut. Okay, open. And this is fret one. And this is fret two. And as a rule of thumb, when you're pressing down, you want to get as close to the fret as possible without touching the fret to make a note. Okay. So in this instance, the first chord that we're playing, the first pattern. That we learned, we're going to be pressing two frets up on the fourth string. One, two. And we're going to do it with our middle finger. Okay. Now you're you could use whatever finger you want, but I think the easiest one is the middle finger. Okay. So the rule with fretting, okay, like I said, is to be just below the fret without touching it. You don't want to be on the fret because then when you go to press down, it'll make a thud. It'll mute the string. The idea is just to be down just a little bit below it. So the fourth string, one, two, three, four, fourth string, and we're two frets up. One fret, two frets, and just below the fret. And what you want to do is arch your finger. And the best way to keep your finger arched is to put your thumb down here like this. Okay, if you see the, see my thumb, you don't want your thumb out here. You don't want it up here. You don't want it curled around. That's uh, not the right way to do it. What you want to do is you want to put your thumb right down here. And what that does is that naturally makes it so that your finger is arched. And you want to be playing on the very tips. You see, see where you can see the string 
made a groove right here in my in my finger. You want to play very, right on the tip of the finger. You don't want to play on the fleshy part. You want to play right on the tips. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb in the right position and we're going to press with our middle finger two frets up on the fourth string. Okay? And to test out to see if the sound is good, okay, because you don't have to press real hard, you just have to do it accurately. So to see if we're doing it correctly, what we're going to do is with our thumb, fourth string, we're going to play the note, okay, pluck the note down here, okay, it sounded like a pretty clean note. Now if you're back too far here, it's liable to not sound good. You want to be just below the fret to make the best sound. You want to be on the tip of your finger and you want your thumb in the right position. Now a lot of people, they will hold the guitar this way and that's okay, but to make it even easier, what you're going to want to do um, to start out with, and this will make it uh, playing a lot easier, is to do it the classical way. What they do is they rest the guitar on their left, on their left leg. And the reason they do that is it gets to tilt the guitar neck up in the air. And tilting the guitar neck up in the air makes it so that your fingers are naturally in the position to be able to play the note. Okay, and have your thumb in the right position. So if you want to make things even easier, the best way to do it is to keep your, your guitar on your left leg rather than your right leg. You'll see all the classical players doing it and have your guitar tilted up. Now, if it's not comfortable and you want to do it on the right leg, go ahead and just kind of tilt up your, tilt up your leg so that, uh, tilt up your guitar so your guitar neck is not flat because that causes your fingers to do the wrong thing. You want to have your guitar neck tilted, okay? So very simply, what we're going to do now is we're going to get this, this note here that we're playing and we're going to go ahead and play that pattern that we learned. One, two three and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, let's go ahead and try to play this together, okay? Hope you have your guitar with you. So we'll go real slow. Here we go. And I'm going to count it off. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to start. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, Okay, now, if you haven't downloaded the study guide, it's popping up right here. Uh, go ahead and download the study guide, and I'll see you in the next lesson. What we're going to be doing in the next lesson is the next chord. And what's cool about this next chord is we're not going to have to move this finger. We're just going to change the pattern down here. We're going to change one note down here, and we're going to have a completely different sounding uh, chord, even though we didn't even move our finger here. Click on the next lesson right here. And we'll see you there.